Hello YouTube, and more importantly, my fellow Souls fans, this is the Souls Fanatic, or I may go under the name of Old Hunter Ulrich, haven't decided yet. But anyway, this here is the first of hopefully many videos on a Soul-specific DIY, and today I will be making the Blood Vial from Bloodborne. I will be wearing a pair of latex gloves, one because this one gets kind of messy, and two because my hands exude some sort of acid that destroys everything I touch. Now, a list of materials is provided in the description below. I have here is a label I designed using Word. Really not that hard to design your own, but you want to make sure it fits the bottle. First we'll age the labels. What you'll need is a sticker paper with your printed labels, a pair of scissors, a pocket of coffee mix, a small plate, something to stir with, and some water. Pour some water into the plate. and then the coffee into the water. The more you put in the darker the stain will become. After stirring, you're going to want to cut out your labels. Now I'm going to use a tray because we're going to have to move these out into the light. I'll show a few methods on how to get different effects. You can just put on drops to get a splotchy effect. You can dip the sides in to get a worn edge look. or just dunk the whole paper in to stain the whole piece. If you want it lighter, you can paint it on with your finger. Now I'm going to put these out in the sun to dry. Next we're going to make the blade. You will need corn syrup, a glass bowl, food coloring, and the stir stick. Red, blue, and yellow. Pour the syrup in the bowl. Add a lot of red.
A tiny drop of blue. This will darken it. Only add a small amount of the blue dye. It is very strong and it will overpower other colors. Use paper towel to test the color. Mine looks too much like a raspberry jelly, so I'm going to add some yellow to brighten up the red. Uh, whoops. Uh, added too much yellow, just going to add more red to balance it out. Now all these look good, but you may have to play around with the colors till you get the blood color you like. Now again, blue is to darken, yellow is to make it more vibrant, and red is your base. Next we'll make the vial. Now you'll need black satin spray paint, Boston style cork top round bottles, a brown wood stain, and 80 grit sandpaper. I'm going to show you how to age the bottles as it is seen in the vial's picture. However, I personally am going to use a new bottle because I love the luster of the glass. So take the sandpaper and just brush the glass in random directions. You want a coarse grit sandpaper to make it look as if the glass has been scratched. Now take the stain, open it, not with the pair of scissors by the way. And take a rag or paper towel and just start brushing it on. As it dries, we'll age the cork. Uh... 
You can dip the cork in the stain to get the darker color. Or you can use the spray paint to get that rotten look. You just want to give it a light dusting of the paint to keep some of the cork's natural color. Here is a new bottle compared to the aged. Again, I prefer the new bottle, but I wanted to show how to age a bottle if you wanted to do it yourself. Now bring back your blood and your stain sticker labels. Find the one you think is best. Now just carefully place it on the least scratched surface of your bottle. Take a funnel and pour the blood in. Cork it, make sure it's tight, and you're all done. Enjoy your counterfeit blood vial. This was my first YouTube video, and I would love to hear your feedback on how I can improve my future videos. I hope to tackle greater projects, but the material cost isn't always cheap. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to be making more videos in the future.